I got the new PK300. All new design PK grill. It's called the all new original. The box weighed uh, 70 pounds. And here's what's new. Are you a member of PK Club already? Yes. <laughs> Here's everything. 3% taller, radial vents, new Dura hinge, ash containment, better handle, custom aluminum wheels with rubber tires, more shelf space, high quality cart, temperature probe access door, Re-engineered cooking surface. Storage bin. You can buy the thermometer and the flip kit if you want. New hinge. Ash covers. Quality construction. Radial air vents on top and bottom. I'm gonna put it together. It's been raining for two days at McCotton's Barbecue. I'm gonna put I'm gonna put this together. Let's open the box. Open the box. I'm watching Argentina and Australia. But I can't wait to open this box. It rained last night. Let's open the box. This is going to be good. Built to cook, built to last. Look at that. There's a little indentation in the styrofoam just for that. That's quality, man. That's unbelievable. Wow. says, welcome to the club. Look at that. Welcome to the club. I'm, I already have, I already have one. <laughs> All right, let's see. The first piece. PK grill. Wow, that's nice. Everything is so nice. All right. That looks like the bottom shelf. Okay, I got the bottom tray. Nice steel. Solid bottom tray. together. Look at that. Heavy construction uh, aluminum will never rust. Look at that now. Oh, I got the big piece here. The, the top. The top bracket. 
top bracket, top uh, support columns. We got Lemmy helping me. You helping me with the new barbecue? Yes, you are. The shelf is already attached. It's one solid piece. Look at this. That's one solid, that's the top. One solid piece. Now we get to the good. <laughs> the good part here. Look at that. Cause barbecue. Putting together the PK 300. The new original. Extremely heavy. Had to use two hands to get that out. That's the. The top or the bottom, I don't know yet. <laughs> hey, let me. You want me to cook a steak? Okay. All right. Getting it done. All right. This is the top. That's the top frame. This is the bottom. Built to cook, built to last. Then I got my legs in here, four legs. Stainless steel, I think. Wow. And the grates. Then I gotta put it together. Get a little box, probably the, the wheels. All right, keep going. Australia just got a goal. I can't believe it. Two to one. Argentina in Australia. Putting together the PK. Argentina won. Argentina won. Now let's get back to the parts. Get the parts. Wheels, two grills, four legs. Let's put this together. We caught Argentina. Made it. Parts are parts. We always say parts is parts. I got the bottom frame, at the wheels, at the handle. I got the nuts and bolts and screws and hex wrenches. I got the adjustable legs. I got the thermometer thing. We got a couple little things here. And these are the ash covers. These are solid steel, man. These are heavy, heavy duty. Packed in grease so they don't rust during shipment, at least. All right, I'm gonna put the wheels. First thing, wheels. Portable kitchen, BK. These are heavy, heavy duty. That's solid aluminum and real rubber. And they go right, right in there. And they give you the two bolts. And they give you the hex, hex key. Hex. They give you all the little screws here. I got another four millimeter right there. So I'm gonna put these on right now. Look at that. Perfect. These are heavy, man. Each one of them was in its separate bag. That's quality right there, man. They don't just throw it in the box. 
Okay, the wheels are on. And the post, the legs are on. And these screw in and out. For an adjustment on your level surface. If your patio or deck is at level, you can twist these, I think, almost an inch in and out. All right, the cart. Bottom's done. Four posts. Step number three. I forgot one thing. I'm gonna do it right the first time. I got WD-40. So, I did that wheel. I'm gonna put uh, just a couple drops in here. And uh, on the bolt. And then put the wheel on. I'm going to do that to all of it. I took the wheels off. I'm going to put WD-40 in all the uh, cubby holes, screws, and the bolts. Just for added protection. I did that wheel already. Every little bolt's gonna get a little bit of WD-40. No rust ever. So I got the top uh, rack in. I got all the bolts in. Eight bolts. When you uh, put the top on, Make sure the little pegs are facing up. The uh, shelf is perpendicular to the, to the leg, to the two pier, or parallel with it. Because it comes folded all the way up. You know, lift it down. I put a WD-40 in the, just in there to make it nice. And uh, the instructions say I can tighten all the bolts up. I can tighten all four. And when you get to this point, and you know you only got a few bolts left, you know you're on the right track. I got my my Makita, and I just uh, sprayed all this, just a little bit, for the first, uh, to prevent oxidation with the steel bolts and the aluminum. If I ever have to take this apart, it'll make it a lot easier to take it apart with the wheels, the bolts, but hopefully you never have to take it apart. Because barbecue, getting, I'm going to tighten them up, tighten everything up. The pro tip from McCon, when you're dealing with a steel stainless steel screws into aluminum cast with the uh, WD-40 what you want to do is uh, tighten each screw or bolt it's a screw but a bolt just like finger tight don't overdo it or you you might strip it and it'll be ruined just finger tight for now on all four corners and it after you use it for a while you know you might need to tighten it a little bit but you're not going to damage the threads of the aluminum which is kind of soft it's stronger than steel but it's soft with the threads and the of course the stainless steel is harder than alu aluminum so um you know, just, uh, I just go finger tight. Don't put a wrench on it. Nice and finger tight. After you shake, shake it and use it for a while, you can go back and, uh, you know, just tighten everything up. 
that's what I do. That's how we build in a rock and roll and uh, at the opera. You don't uh, tighten everything down at once. You make sure everything's together. And then the boss says, okay, tighten everything down after it's all put together. Because everything can, can move, you know, and settle in. We're gonna go for the grand finale now. I also like to keep the same size bolts or nuts all together. So I know they belong to something. These are all hex head. Number three, uh, Phillips. And that's why I got my trusty Makita screwdriver. And I know I have two hex hex heads here with four washers these washers go with these four bolts these don't go with these because there's no there's four of these there's four of these just a little trick keep your uh, hardware all together sort them out see what matches and what doesn't match and you can't go wrong Cubs barbecue carpenter tip and get a good good screw gun this one's like 15 years old already it's killer this is the bottom tub it's got a radio with indentations, say half open, three quarter open, one quarter open, fully closed. So cool, man. And I had a. I thought these went to here, right? But they don't fit. I go, what? They don't fit. It had the little handle. Then I looked in the package, but I found these. These are heavy, man. These are heavy aluminum and rubber. These will last. There's brass in there with the steel screw. And look what I, I found. I go, huh, they fit right there. <laughs> you just gotta look at all your packaging. And your, I have four of those remaining and four, uh, Lock washers. So I'm gonna put those on. Got the top on. Perfect construction. Now I gotta lift the the shelf. Look at this. I got the vents. Oh yeah. Now it's got a handle. I can move it anywhere I want. <laughs> and I got the adjustable leg to make it stable. All right, let's keep going. Super, super heavy duty. Ash containment. With vents, heavy duty steel. The air, when the air comes in, this will be hot with the coals. It'll heat the air as it comes in, but prevent ash from going out onto the bottom, like the other one. Take a minute out. Benjamin Franklin and Charles Pretty cool. Bottom shelf. Just fits in. You just set it in there. You can take it out and clean it. No fuss, no muss. Really nice. Oh, that's right. Happy holidays. 
packs of apple cider vinegar. I know it sounds like super, action. super heavy duty stainless steel <coughs> charcoal. Oh, looks like Christmas Great. In there. Oh, That'll never rust. Looks very, very, very Allowed. Heavy duty uh, yeah, cooking seal. grid that opens up to put more fuel, more coals or wood in there, and it even comes out if you're doing offside cooking and you just want your to be able to get in there easily. Just goes in like that. The top's on. The brand new hinge. Look at that. There's no bolts or no hinge or nothing. It's all built in together. These little tabs, make sure that you got the perfect fit. Got an extra wide edge to keep all the smoke in. The only thing left is the handle. Goes in like that. And I have two bolts left and two lock washers. Then it's next for the grill grates. The most beautiful grill I've ever seen. And smoker. Built to last. It'll last a lifetime. And the Dura hinge, no wobbling around, comes down on the points. Look at that. Grill grates. You got to have grill grates on a PK. It's world championship. Built to last a lifetime. Built to cook. PK Grill. 1952. Brand new. McCon's barbecue. Cooking up the good stuff. And now for the crowning glory for the new PK original. The grill grate goes on top. Oh. I get a new. Uh, Real great tool. I have lots of them. I think I have three or maybe four. Grow great. Little pack and slip. Let's dump this out. It's a grill grate. Brand new grill grate. I think they sent it in three pieces this time. Brand new grill grapes. After the first cook, 
these will be black. Just like my PK over here. That's what they're gonna look like. And they last forever. Let's take this one over. Argentina. Grow great. They send it in three. Here's in the middle. This one goes there. They all go together. There it is. PK Grill Grill Grid. That's money, honey. Wow. It's a steak cooking machine. The best you can buy. It's the best you can buy. Look at that. Mekong's barbecue. Grill grates. New PK grill. Built to last forever. Rock solid. Since 1952. Will never rust. Mekong's barbecue. Wow. Mekong's barbecue. What a day. Saturday. I have to work tomorrow. So I get all this stuff done today. I went to the post office, went to the store. Built the new PK grill. <laughs> the grill grates. Uh, uh, America lost. The World Cup. Argentina won. So we're going for Argentina. Uh, made in Argentina. Uh, give you one last uh, look at the PK and um, I'm out. This was a review, uh, unboxing review. Show you how I put it together. This video is epic for PK grill and grill grates. A steak cooking machine. It'll last 50 years, 50 years. It will never rust. I did everything. It's all aluminum and stainless steel. It'll never rust. It'll never break. This thing is a dynamo. The best thing you can make. Or steaks on. Or best thing you can buy right now for Christmas. Um, peace out. Love and aloha. Bon appetit. Hope everybody's doing good. Bye. The new PK. The folding shelf. Rock solid. New hinge. Look at that. Real great. And you can take them out too. You can use all the grates in there. You gotta have grill grates. Because barbecue. Love and aloha. And Bye. So